How's everybody? It's a relationship revived following a tumultuous Brexit. The Brits are on a charm offensive to Africa. Like Princess Ante. Uh, really? Uh, yeah. Lesotho Prime Minister Dr. Mekitsi Majoro is all smiles. As we celebrate together on this windy and somewhat chilly Thursday, let us once again recommit ourselves to the urgent need to tackle the challenges we confront our two countries. Some of these challenges are climate change and COVID-19. To this end, we are deeply grateful for the support by the United Kingdom to the COVAX facility. The British High Commission shut its door some 15 years back, but today marks a new dawn. And in the UK, we say patience is a virtue. But I understand the Sesotho version is even better. Marmelo et sola catlejo. As UK prepares to host the Climate Change Summit next year, Ford says the developed countries must assist countries like Lesotho, which are adversely impacted by the climate change. And hardly hours after her speech, a pelting hail and storms last in just a few minutes and damages that will last long afterwards. Lesotho contributes very little to global warming but nevertheless suffers the impacts of climate change and will urge develop, developed countries to meet $100 billion a year in climate, uh, in climate finance target. I was really glad that last week as well, the US got their checkbook out to match some of the UK's commitments to meet that $100 billion a year. To these young professionals, the newly found relationship has already borne fruit. I would like to see uh, creative industries recognized in Lesotho. Um, I would like to see creative industries have a platform where they can actually start contributing to the economy. A lot of spaces are opening up now, like the con space, the doctoral space, so I think my contribution is just letting people know about it and contributing at my, my usual work that I, that I do. Lesotho's relationship with Britain was established in 1868 and when Lesotho Embassy closed its doors, the disappointment was indescribable. They are friends of a long standing, more than a whole century of friendship between the two nations. And we have been in two wars on the side of Britain. And in the Anglo-Boer War, we were on the side of Britain. So we've been in three wars together. The support that we used to get from the Commonwealth, not necessarily the Commonwealth Foundation, but Commonwealth because uh, of our close relationship with the British, will also be, be seen again. Ford will proceed to South Africa, where a team of experts in both countries will meet to forge a working relationship in combating COVID-19 pandemic. United Kingdom had earlier stunned South Africa by placing it on a travel red list despite its sharp COVID-19 decline. Rabelang Khatebe, SABC News, Masagolosu.